Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Wednesday, the 14th day of June. It is World Blood Donor Day, National New Mexico Day, Army's birthday today. Happy birthday. Very cool. National Flag Day. Celebrate that one. National Bourbon Day. Ooh, Heidi's going to celebrate that I one. I like bourbon. National Strawberry Shortcake Day. National Pop Goes the Weasel Day. And National Career Nurses Assistance Day today. So it's also Flag Week this week, by the way. This whole week is Flag Week. So if you don't celebrate today, you can celebrate tomorrow. But celebrate, celebrate responsibly. Week. Yeah, celebrate all week. And I got a guest joining me today. I'm excited to visit with this young man. Zeke is what he goes by. Um, he's on a new show called The Ride. It's on okay. Amazon Prime. It's a, like a docu series or a documentary thing about bull riding. And this guy is like one of the the hotshot stars of the future that's coming. Like he's already doing really well, but he's he's the one they're watching because he's gonna he's gonna be you know even bigger. All right. But uh, we're gonna chat with Zeke coming up. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. New report says that administering CPR, or cardiopulmonary resuscitation, to a cardiac arrest sufferer could cause more harm than good. That's oh. scary. A physician and a bioethicist told NPR that the bad experiences far outnumber the good ones. When it comes to Whoa. delivering CPR, not only is this revival method not as successful as portrayed on countless medical dramas... But it can leave patients with lasting physical and cognitive impairments, including fractured or broken or cracked ribs, pulmonary hemorrhaging, liver lacerations, and broken sternums, even brain damage, if not done completely properly. So So what are you supposed to do? Nothing? If you do nothing, there's a good chance that the person's going to die. If you do something, then they might die, but they might not. And they might not die, but they might have damage. So I don't know. At the end of the day, you got to decide what you're going to do. But wow. I'm going to do something. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at genesisgoldira.com that's genesisgoldira.com did you know brought to you by genesisgoldira.com heidi did you know that uh, maybe you've heard the old saying about exercise no pain no gain well it turns out that might actually be backwards according to a new study those who engage in more physical activity end up having a higher tolerance for pain These findings from the University Hospital of North Norway propose that an increased exercise could actually be a potential strategy to manage chronic pain. The study author wrote, Becoming or staying physically active over time can benefit your pain tolerance. No matter what you choose to do, the key is to stay active doing something. So I agree with that. I agree completely because uh, I kind of like a bear hibernated for many, many, many months. <laughs> many, we were watching, watching, many, many you know, months. watching TV and, <laughs> you know, we're like, hey, we're all done with a bunch of projects. Let's just sit down and relax. Yeah. And now we're doing other projects. I'm like, my knees hurt. My back hurts. Yep. My elbows hurt. Heidi's like, yeah, well, get over it. <laughs> get back to work. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Leah Remini, is that how you say her name? You know who I'm talking about? She was on uh, The King of Queens. Anyway, she... Leah Remini, I think. Is that how you say it? Uh, She recently completed her second year at New York University. She's taken uh, a step back to admire her progress now. The King of Queens star posted, two years ago, I had an eighth grade education. Thanks to spending 35 years in a cult. Now at age 52, I finished my second year at NYU. How cool is that? 
I'm really happy That's for her. That's pretty great. Um, making the Barbie movie required so much pink paint, it led to a worldwide shortage. I saw this. I love yeah. that fact. They're like, yeah, we uh, we need more paint. And like, yeah, well, that's we're all fantastic. out. So you're going to have to just get by. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger speaks out about that 1996 affair with the housekeeper in his new tell-all Netflix documentary, Arnold. In it, he admits that Shriver was left crushed after finding out that he'd fathered Joseph, who's now 25, with their housekeeper. Oh, that's a bombshell revelation. Yeah. And Michael Who J. Fox... Be? Gave Back to the Future Expo attendees a scare when he actually fell on stage. 61-year-old oh. was diagnosed with Parkinson's back in 1991 when he was just 29. Anyway, Absolutely he was walking him. out on stage at a convention. He tripped, and thank goodness he's okay. He landed on a couch. Everybody's uh, really glad to hear that he's okay. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A report claims that global warming could be drastically slowed if we all worked less. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Thank, thank you. Yeah, Thanks for that report. Just stay home, do nothing. I don't know what we're supposed to do. If, if we're not working, we'd be out goofing around doing other things that would cause bigger problems. So I don't know. Yeah, if we just stayed home and stared at the walls, maybe. But that's not going to happen. And don't turn on your furnace or your yeah, air conditioner. I, or, I just... Again, yeah. who knows? And it, it had been one of the deadliest seasons for summoning Mount Everest, and it would have been even deadlier if it weren't for a Sherpa named Gile, G-E-L-I-J-E. How would you say that? I have no idea. The 30-year-old guide rescued a Malaysian climber after he was found shivering in an area called the Death Zone, where the lack of oxygen and 30 below Celsius, 22 below Fahrenheit Jeez. temperatures prohibit extended human visitation. This Sherpa hauled that climber 1,900 feet down the mountain, where another guide joined the rescue. They wrapped the climber in a sleeping mat, and traded off carrying and dragging him to safety. A devout Buddhist, this Sherpa, likened the rescue to his religion, saying saving one life is more important than praying at the monastery. What a cool dude. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. And kind of going a different direction here, a daredevil job seeker landed a new position after jumping out of an airplane with a sign asking for work. Chris Serrano, a creative director living in Florida, filmed himself skydiving while holding a piece of cardboard reading, Open for Work. He posted the clip on LinkedIn with the caption, I got laid off last week, so I'll be uh, free-falling until I find a new gig, Jeez. literally. If you're looking for an award-winning creative that works hard, takes risks, and knows how to pack a parachute, reach out. Well, the post went viral. Caught the eye of a guy by the name of Jack P. Game, the co-founder and CEO of a social app, LinkUp. He responded in an unexpected way. He posted a video of himself skydiving with a sign that said, Hey, Chris, sorry to see you got laid off. We got work for you. How great is that? Two weeks ago, the pair of Thrill Seekers released a video of the two of them together signing a contract while they were jumping out of an airplane together. There you go. I love that. What a great Match made in heaven. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at insurancechicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at insurancechicken.com. Let's face it. We don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to insurancechicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at insurancechicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday. Our guest today, Ezekiel Mitchell, also known as Zeke. He's on a program on Amazon Prime called The Ride. He is one of the brightest stars in bull riding today. And uh, Zeke, what makes you want to do this? This looks scary, man. I don't know. It's, uh, it's always been a part of me. It's something that uh, being a cowboy is always something that I've always wanted to do, so I, um, I I just kind of fell into it naturally. Just watching the trailer for this made me nervous for you guys. How long have you been a professional bull rider, Zeke, and what was it that drew you into this? I've been a professional bull rider since 2019. Uh, that's when I got on the Unleash the Beast series. 
yeah, that ultimately ended up me getting onto the team series that's featured in the show. Um, and uh, my dad was a horse dentist. That, uh, so I, I grew up uh, in and around rodeos, uh, not really going, and not really competing, but just going to rodeos and just fell in love with the sport. And I wanted to try every aspect of the sport. And uh, I just kind of continued on from there, you know. Again, the program on Amazon Prime is called The Ride, and this is an opportunity for people to see kind of behind the curtain of professional bull riding. Even if they're big fans sitting in the stands, there's probably a lot of stuff that they're going to find out watching this show. Before you were a professional bull rider, are there things that maybe you learned after you actually put your butt on the saddle? Yeah, no, uh, bull riding is a sport that I'm forever learning in. Uh, You'll never learn everything. You'll never be perfect at it. There's nobody in the history of the sport that's ever been 100% all the time. So uh, I'm consistently learning and I'm consistently growing every day. And PBR Team Series, uh, this, this uh, again, is something that there are huge, huge fans of professional bull riding. And it's it's a sport like other sports. You know, people think about sports. They might think of the NFL, the NBA. But PBR is another three-letter group, PBR, professional bull riding, that is a huge, huge, has a huge fan base. And what is it like now to be featured in this program? So, you know, in addition to being uh, a fan when people come to the events and see you, now they're seeing you on this program. Uh, what is it like to, to to be one of the people featured in the ride? Uh, man, uh, it it means the world to me, honestly. It means the world. Um, just for the sport to be seen in a different light uh, is phenomenal. Uh, and I just want the sport to continue to grow, uh, continue to get better. And uh, this is an avenue that will, will help us get to that point. And speaking of professional sports, I know in the last few years, they've been talking a lot about concussions in the NFL. And when it comes to professional bull riding, you know, the injuries are far higher. And and this is something that, again, it's not just concussions. There are people who have died doing this. Does that concern you when you're going out to, to you know, to do uh, the next ride? Is it scary to, to get on, this, on the saddle and do this? Nah, no, sir. No, no sir. I did, to be completely honest, it doesn't. Um, I mean, I, I'm aware of the, the risk and the, the inherent danger that comes with this sport. Uh, but uh, it, it's something that doesn't bother me at all. You know, I, I don't really think about it. I can get hurt doing anything in the world. I can get hurt die, or, or die, you know, uh, walking down the sidewalk. Uh, so riding a bull ain't, ain't no different to me. You know, I'm, I'm a trained professional in that aspect, and um, it, it's just like anything else that you're trained in, you're, you're aware of the risk. I, I do it, and I'm happy to do it, and I, I love it, so... When you love something that much, it don't really matter what anything else or anybody else has to say about it, you know. I love that. And and you're taking the precautions to make sure that you take care of yourself, which is really important as well. Yes, sir. Uh, we train. Uh, I, I train and uh, um, I wear the protective vest or protective helmet. Uh, but, you know, still inherently this sport is still dangerous, uh, period, no matter what you put on. But just try to stay positive and just keep going in the right direction. Well, you stay safe out there, and thank you for taking the time to chat with us today. Thank you, sir. You have a good one. Absolutely. Again, our guest today has been Ezekiel Mitchell, also known as Zeke, and you can really get to know him on Amazon Prime. There's a program on there right now that came out at the very tail end of May. It's called The Ride. I've got a link to the trailer and all of the information about this new docu-series, this uh, documentary from Amazon Prime, in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thanks for listening on a Wednesday. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In England, in the 1800s, pants was considered a dirty word. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you weren't supposed to say that. So I don't know what you were supposed to say. Slacks, maybe? I don't know. Huh. 
And I've always wondered why they called it this. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? You ever wonder why they call a person that's walking across the street a jaywalker? You ever why? Wonder? Well, the fun fact is J used to be slang for foolish person. Oh. So when a pedestrian ignored street signs, that foolish person was known as a jaywalker. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Hitting snooze on your alarm can make you more tired than if you had just gotten up right away. I absolutely can relate to that. Because <laughs> I've never gotten like good sleep after that. So well, I quit no, doing you that. Don't. You I just... quit doing that years ago. Yeah. And our final fun fact for What's you, Heidi. That, John? Believing you have a good memory helps you to have a better memory. <laughs> <laughs> At least according to the person who said that. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. The average woman buys three of these per year. What is it? Purses. No, brassiers. Oh. Three per year. I am way below average. Uh, so you don't even buy three per year? No. You buy what, three a decade? Uh, <laughs> like, I will wear mine until they're barely <laughs> hanging on to each other. It's because you're thrifty, and I think being thrifty is a good thing. <laughs> Mint Mobile question I of the day. Hate trying the things comes on is your what way. it comes down to. Courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A sailboat crew jumped into action to save two tourists from sinking in a van after they drove into a harbor in Hawaii. Oh. Why would they do that? That was well, pretty nice. They were following the GPS. Oh. Uh, yeah. You hear about that I all the time. I just don't understand. Video shows the quick-thinking crew swimming up to the driver and passenger, helping them out of the vehicle through the front windows. Meanwhile, another pair of men tied a rope to the back of the van, attempting to pull it onto a boat ramp. Ultimately, they failed as... It quickly became fully submerged. A videographer can be heard saying from behind the camera, pretty sure that wasn't supposed to happen. (laughs) Thank you for all that help there behind the video camera. (laughs) We're going to save somebody's lives. You're going to get it on tape. It's called teamwork right there. (laughs) No, that is crazy. And if you are using a GPS and it tells you to do something that doesn't seem right, Take a left. You mean into the water? Right. Okay. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. Although we followed one into a field one time. Okay, but that was the correct direction. It was not. Your GPS is set to like bootlegger That wasn't mode. even a road. It that was. took us up to some farm. As we're getting closer, to some random farmhouse yeah. out in the middle. That was not the. That was not uh, where I'm we were sure. going. I'm pretty sure that's exactly where we were <laughs> supposed to go. Not. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. <laughs> Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Ways to get out of mowing the lawn. So if you're trying to get out of mowing the lawn, here's some ideas. Okay. I don't know if any of these are good ideas. One, put a for sale sign on the lawnmower. Let everybody who comes to buy it take a test drive. <laughs> you want to just mow the bullard? Yeah. yeah, yeah. See yeah, how good it does? Shot. All right. It's $9,000 for that mower. <laughs> what, you don't want it? Oh, good. Uh, another one, kill half the grass, let the other half grow long, and then do a comb over. Yeah, that's a bad oh, idea. Oh, wow. Mount your entire yard on a giant hydraulic platform and just lower it one inch per week. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> Tell your wife you can't stand the screams of the poor defenseless blades of grass. Then go sit in the corner gently rocking back and forth. These are really bad ideas on how to get out They're of mowing the lawn. They're just really not good Have a ideas. kid, wait 10 years, make them do it. <laughs> <laughs> Be an awfully when, long you lawn. You remember when our son first started mowing the lawn for me? And oh, he was, and it was never right. No and he was, what he, he did. Yeah, they're pushing. There'd be like giant lines of unmowed grass. He's like, "I'm all done." I'm like, "You're not done. What are you talking about?" 
All right, the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at InsuranceChicken.com. Let's face it, we don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to InsuranceChicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at InsuranceChicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurance insurancechicken.com that's insurancechicken.com time now for the quote of the day it comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com quote today from phyllis diller i always liked phyllis diller love phyllis diller we spent the first 12 months of our children's lives teaching them to walk and talk and then the next 12 years telling them to sit down and shut up (laughs) that's true that is pretty much true. that's kind of the way it works quote of the day comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. I love this story. Hero police officer rescues unresponsive toddler from a tragic pool incident. First Yikes. of all, how awful would that be? And I got to tell you, when I was a little boy, my younger sister Jamie drowned. And she was saved from some heroes who were able to leap into action and save her life. So she's still alive today because of that. The story says it was a race against time as a group of brave police officers in Michigan stepped in to save a toddler from a life-threatening situation after the child had accidentally fallen into a swimming pool. When they got there, the child was not breathing. The mother said she found the child in the pool, was not breathing on Saturday morning. Macomb County Sheriff's Office reported. Moments after the call was dispatched, deputies Pataki and Blout arrived on the scene and performed emergency life-saving measures. Noting that time was of the essence, a decision was made to transport the toddler to a hospital in the vehicle. And it says on the way there, uh, it was reported the toddler was breathing and had a pulse. So they were doing the life-saving Absolutely terrifying. Maneuvers I couldn't even imagine. During the ride to the hospital. It says this type of situation is one of the worst a parent can experience. The responding deputies and fire personnel acted swiftly, ensuring the toddler received life saving measures and the hospital transportation was quick as possible. I applaud these public servants and their exceptional efforts. As of the afternoon that this was written, the parents report the toddler had been released from the hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. So when I was a little boy, like I said, this Mm -hmm. happened, and my sister, the same thing happened. They were doing CPR while they were driving her to the hospital. And I remember, uh, again, the gentleman who was that saved her life, Bob Pesky was his name, just recently passed away, and she got a little bear from him, and she kept, she still has it, Pesky Bear is what what she called it. So unbelievable. Heroes, heroes, heroes. Thank you guys for doing what you do. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show.